So you watched yesterday's video about the application page. You watched the day before about the uh, authority building page, the sales page. But now, once someone fills out that application page, you have to send them to the thank you page. The thank you page sets the stage for the rest of the conversations that you need to have with your potential client. You now have their form, you have their email, you can follow up with them, you can schedule an appointment, you can close the deal, and you can work with them and change their lives. But to do that, you have to have a perfect thank you page. This is what my thank you page looks like for my funnel building business for dog trainers. And it's very, very similar to how it should look for your dog training business or your dog business in general. You thank them for applying to work with you and you let them know what the next steps are. And we should be doing three things here. This is perfect because I have three steps, right? Let me actually make my face smaller here. Okay, so step one, we need to build a stronger relationship with the potential client. They might know you from social media, they might have just met you, maybe they saw an ad, they went to the sales page, you told them a story that they resonated with, they applied to work with you, you've built up some credibility showing them testimonials and what the process looks like for training with you, and now we wanna build even stronger of a relationship. And so what I have here is learn more about us and how we transform businesses using proven funnels and techniques, free trainings on YouTube which means people can watch video after video after video of me on YouTube and build a relationship. I just become a part of their daily habits. That's what I want to do. Marketing, sales, operations, and more. They click on that button. They watch me on YouTube. We now have a uh, relationship. You could put a community here. You could put a video. Instead of having this picture here, I can have a video here that explains my story instead of having it on the application page. I could say, hey, thank you for applying. It means so much to me because when I was younger, I didn't have this kind of thing, whatever it may be, right? We're trying to build a relationship that's really strong so much that when we call them or you email them, they're like, oh my God, what did they have to say? Let me see what they, let me see what they need, right? If I call somebody, I want them to pick up and say, hey, Michael, I've been waiting for your call. I'm so excited to train with you. That's what I want. Right. Step two, the second thing we need, some type of homework. Right. We don't want to meet with somebody and they not be prepared, number one. But also, number two, we want to be in the front of their mind. So if we give them something to do, you could tell them to go watch your, you know, a playlist on YouTube. You want to give them something to do so that they're thinking about you up until the moment that you call or email them. So while we're going over your application, I need you to take a look at your current marketing plan and take notes on everything you're doing in preparation for our meeting. What does this do for me in this business? It lets me know that one, they're serious about doing this when I meet with them and say, hey, where are the notes that we you know, assigned you for homework? Uh, what's your marketing plan? How much are you spending on ads? Those kinds of things. But also it helps them get rooted in reality and what's going on. So for dog training, you might say, hey, I want you to write down every time you train with your dog. I want you to write down what's going on, what are you doing, how well they did, what treats you used, all of those things. That when you meet with them, you say, hey, let me look at your notebook. It looks like you trained three times in the past month and a half. That's why you're not seeing any success. And you can clearly show them the reality of the problem that they're facing and how you are the solution. And then step three, you can have higher conversion rates by four to five times the amount. Okay, four to five times the amount of conversions if you get people to call you or at least contact you five or less than five minutes after they fill out the application. Now, as solopreneurs, or by ourselves in our dog training businesses, we'll be doing things. We can't always, you know, call people immediately when we get the email that says, hey, someone submitted an application. We can't do it. Like, we're going to be late. So we give them the opportunity to call us. Now, you might have a VA, a virtual assistant, answer the phone. You might have just a, a messaging box. You could do that. Or you at least now know somebody called, and you can go call them right back. Hey, I was in a session. Let me know what's going on. Let me pull up your application and let's schedule your call or schedule your consultation right now. You're giving them the opportunity to cut the line and communicate with you directly. So here I say, keep an eye on your inbox. Within the next 24 hours, I will reach out to set up a consultation and make a game plan for our funnel system. If you want to cut the line and get started now, give us a call here. And then I put my number down there so people can call me about building out funnels for their dog training businesses. As a dog trainer, you're going to be on the phone. You're going to be talking with people. You are going to be talking about money. You, you have to build some type of relationship, a strong relationship with your potential clients in order to ask them for the money and required to build the business and grow the business. So you have to be comfortable with answering the phone or at least some type of communication. You don't have to put the phone down there. You could put an email. You could put 
uh, another contact form. Those seem silly, though. The phone is almost immediate. You could have them text you, and you could text them right back. It's less personal. Anyway, that is the breakdown, the bare bones of what you need to have on a thank you page. It's not the end all be all. There are so many other things you can do with this. You can change them around. You can put videos. You can put, you know, multiple steps. You can put one step, just flat out call us. We, you know, we don't want you to wait. Give us a call right now. Let's do this. You could do that as well. But the thank you page is broken down into those three steps. Number one, trying to build a relationship. Number two, give them homework so that they're thinking about you. And number three, give them the opportunity to connect with you immediately. Thank you guys for tuning in today. If you're excited about tomorrow, let me know what you think tomorrow is going to be about. Might be something special. Uh, and if you have any questions, make sure you put it down in the comments. If you haven't been up to date on the other days of this challenge, make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the playlist so you get notified whenever we put up another video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.